On the 31st of December 2009, I posted a video and I titled it Apathy. And if you think that because that video is over two years old, it's an old and irrelevant video, you would be sorely mistaken. And to prove it, just listen to the introductory few seconds of that video. This video is directed specifically at channels who have in the past spoken out for support of freedom of speech here on YouTube in some way shape or form. Those who have mobilized the community in support against a false flagging attack or a false DMCA attack against their own channel or against somebody else's channel. Isn't that amazing? That video could have been posted in the last few days and nobody would know that it's an old video. It seems to be so current and so relevant relating to what is currently going on to this site, especially if you are a follower of Thunderfoot and you have listened to his recent complaints on this site, you will recognize the issues that I'm raising in that video as something that seems to be very current today. And as a lot of people have already pointed out, the claim that Thunderfoot is pointing, putting forward that somehow the terms of service have changed and that now uh, YouTube are coming down on videos that are flagged as hate speech towards people of certain religious pers persuasions is in actual fact not true. The terms of service haven't actually changed in any relevant way. The terms of service over the last few years have always included uh, prohibitions against hate speech. And not only that, as that video proves, the practice of randomly going about flagging people's videos into oblivion simply because you don't agree with their points of view has been around for ages. And what particularly irks me is that, as you can tell from my apathy video, at the time, back in 2009, I approached a number of large channels, asking them to lend support, to raise awareness of this issue that I observed at the time had turned YouTube into a shooting gallery where the smaller channels on this side were sitting ducks for anybody with a bit of a gripe, a grudge or simply who wanted to cause havoc for what they call the lulls. I was raising this issue back in 2009 and I approached a number of large channels asking them to help me raise awareness of this issue. A number of large channels stepped up to the mark and helped me out. Phil Hellens is one of them. He certainly helped out. Coughlin did too. But one person who never bothered to even reply to any PMs, to even acknowledge receipt of my pleas to help raise awareness of this issue, was somebody that many of you know very well today as the person who is screaming blue murder over this today, who is expecting us all to jump to his aid and rush to the barricades in order to fight this evil that has come down on YouTube. The great Thunderfoot himself. Now that the issue is affecting himself, he has finally woken up. The giant has awoken. And you know what? The fact is that this sort of 
flagging campaign, this sort of drive-by shooting at channels, isn't right, has never been right, and is also not right for Thunderfoot. But I'm finding it very, very hard to motivate myself to come to the aid of somebody who has in the past shown so little regard for the plight of the smaller channels on this site, who has never shown any interest when this sort of crap was happening to others. And now he is asking us to help him kick up a fuss about this. And damn it, I'm going to do it too. But you, Thunderfoot, should be thoroughly ashamed of yourself. And that's a fact.